Welcome to another episode of Mind Thump, your number one source for interesting content to feed your brain. Over the thousands of years, humanity has developed into the world sprawling civilization it is today. Stories of the fantastic and mythological creatures abound. Every civilization has its own version of everything from the boogeymen to dragons. And we still enjoy these mythological creatures in movies and video games to this day. In today's video, we are going to be going through 10 mythical creatures that actually existed. Are you ready? Let's go. Number 10. Moby Dick Moby Dick isn't a myth in the traditional sense of the word, as he is the bane of Captain Ahab's existence in the book by Herman Melville. In 1820, Captain George Pollard Jr. was in command of the Essex when it was sunk by a whale. Pollard's troubles with the Essex came from an 85-foot albino sperm whale, which directly attacked and smashed into the ship. The whale returned to attack the vessel at greater speed, and the Essex began taking on water, leaving the men to flee. When he returned shortly after the whale slammed into the vessel a second time, he saw his first mate, Owen Chase, who told him, We have been stove by a whale. And with that, the legend that would become Moby Dick was born. Number 9. Direwolves In games like Dungeons & Dragons or television series such as Game of Thrones, direwolves have been depicted as gigantic wolves capable of easily taking down a large man. They are often described as vicious, hard to train and efficient killers. But the myth of the direwolf doesn't exactly line up with reality. Direwolves, or Canis diarus, were real animals, which went extinct around 9,500 years ago, when the last major ice age came to an end. Direwolves weren't gigantic monsters, but they were big animals. Most specimens that have been studied show the direwolf to be about the same size as modern grey wolves. Sadly, direwolves are long gone, even if they do sometimes pop up in our nightmares. Number 8. Emuji Emuji are Korean dragons, which resemble all forms of Chinese dragons. They are often depicted as long, snake-like reptiles with four legs. Unlike European dragons, Emuji do not have wings and are considered benevolent creatures related to water and agriculture. While there is no such creature in the fossil record, there is something similar called the Titanoba. Titanoba was the largest snake to ever slither across the ground, and various specimens have been found, indicating they could grow up to 42 feet in length and weigh as much as 2,500 pounds. Like most dragon myths, the Emuji likely arose from ancient people who found bones belonging to the extinct species. Korean findings that give rise to the myth of dragons likely came from marine reptiles or dinosaur fossils. Number 7. Dragons Dragons are one of the most pervasive creatures in all of mythology. In nearly every depiction, a dragon is a large serpentine creature with four legs and two wings. Almost all dragons can fly, and many of them breathe fire. There isn't a common consensus regarding how cultures from all over the world came up with dragons, but theories are suggesting ancient people found dinosaur fossils, and these were the inspiration for these gigantic beasts. The bones of misunderstood fauna that were extinct at the time could have led to similar conclusions. There are contemporary animals that could have served as a source for dragon inspiration, such as the Komodo dragon, iguanas, alligators, gila monsters, and other large reptiles. Number 6. Rocks The rock is an enormous bird of prey found in mythology originating in the Middle East. The giant bird was popularized in various fairy tales and folklore from the region, and there's a rock in 1001 Nights, as well as many other popular stories. Descriptions of the rock vary somewhat, but in most, it's an eagle large enough to pick up an elephant. The rock as it has been described didn't likely exist, but there are analogues in the fossil world, which could easily have given birth to the myth. One such creature was the elephant bird of Madagascar, though the myth could have easily been born by sailors' accounts of large eagles capable of carrying off newborn lambs. Number 5. Griffins The griffin is a mythological beast which has the body, tail and hind legs of a lion while the wings, forelegs and head are that of an eagle. Griffins have been around since classical antiquity and they were often depicted as honourable guardians of important artefacts and treasures. 
as the myth developed through the medieval period. It evolved into a Christian symbol of divine power, which was used as a guardian of the divine. Like most of the mythological creatures on this list, the griffin may have been the product of early dinosaur fossil finds. The skull has a beak-like snout, which appears bird-like, and the creature was about the same size as a lion. Number 4. Blemier Sailors brought back so-called wild men of Asia and Africa, which gave rise to the tale of the Blemier. These people were described as headless men, and they were said to be covered with hair, and they didn't have heads, which left their facial features on their chest. Europeans were fascinated by what they heard, and the legend grew for centuries. There are two possible sources for the Blemier, with the first, and most likely, being far-fetched descriptions of gorillas. These days, gorillas are found in zoos all over the world, but they weren't described in scientific journals until the mid-1800s. Another possible source may have been African tribesmen who would lower their heads as they walked. This could give the appearance of people without heads and facial features on their chests. It's possible the myth arose from descriptions of both the tribesmen and gorillas, only they morphed into a single mythological beast over time. Number 3. Platypus. The myth of the platypus is an interesting one, due to the obvious fact that this creature exists. But what we know now, and what people believed in Europe in the 18th century, is a different story. The platypus was first described by Captain John Hunter in 1978. Hunter sent a platypus pelt and a sketch of the animal to Britain, which was a common thing for sailors and naturalists to do when they found a new species. Unfortunately, the naturalists in Britain didn't believe the animal could possibly exist, and as a result, a myth grew surrounding a very real animal. The platypus is such a strange animal that its first description in scientific literature came with a caveat regarding its authenticity, which makes perfect sense when you think about it. Number 2. Kraken the Kraken is a massive and mighty creature from deep beneath the sea that pulls ships down to the depths with its mighty tentacles. It is often described as a massive creature that resembled a floating island, or was so large its tentacles could pull entire vessels under the sea. Sailors have been describing strange creatures for millennia, and whilst most beasts described by them over the years proved to be wildly inaccurate, not everything was. The Kraken may have been described as a violent creature that sank ships, but in reality, it was likely a colossal squid. They can reach lengths of up to 33 meters and weigh in at one and a half thousand pounds. They have strong tentacles, which are filled with suction cups like other squid and octopuses. But these nasty buggers feature large hook claws, giving them a grabbing advantage over others of their kind. Number 1. Unicorns Unicorns are white horses with a large spiralled horn sticking out from their foreheads. They are often associated with magic and have been described for most of history throughout many world cultures. The myth of the unicorn has evolved over time from various descriptions of real animals, and most likely sources in European history stems from Piney the Elder's description of the rhinoceros. Over time, this description morphed through tall tales into the unicorn. But another source in Europe also helped push the belief of this majestic beast. Norse Vikings would take narwhal tusks to Europe and sell them to people as unicorn horns. Because they had never seen a narwhal or a unicorn, the explanation worked, and people traded in so-called unicorn horns for centuries. That brings us to the end of today's list, all about 10 mythical creatures that actually existed. Which of the entries on today's list did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to Mindthump for even more great content. Thanks for watching. See you soon in another episode.